on. Now we started. Ready to go? Hello everybody, we're trying to connect. Yeah, it looks like I'm sideways. Is it better now? Yeah, like Just a few seconds. We're gonna try to adjust everything. Okay, so we'll do it like that and we'll see how it goes. Okay, oh, yes. We're good? Right. Can you transfer on the other side and we're going to see if we can give you a, a wider view. Does this work? Yeah. Still good? Okay, so we're going to try to Oh. Okay. Okay, so this is going to be it. We're going to try to do it like that. So, Philip from Panoramic RV, welcome everybody. We're very happy to have you with us today. Uh, first thing I want to say is uh, thank you very much for taking your time today to, uh, to be with us. Uh, of course, you might have been uh, looking at some videos on YouTube, uh, so you might already know the and uh, do that over and over again because it usually takes me 15 to 20 takes to get it right. So hopefully we'll do all of this in one shot, in one piece, and you will be able to uh, to do it right. Uh, all along the uh, the presentation of uh, the new things that we want to show you for 2021, we'll also uh, take some uh, some questions. But uh, but if you want to keep them, also at the end we'll take more time and we'll try to uh, answer as many questions as uh, as possible. So come with me. I'm gonna step inside uh, this uh, RV. So it's one of our latest units. It remains a 20. 20 truck but built very early in 2021 with all the new things that we are adding for the 2021 production so the first thing i'm not sure if you're able to see this but the first thing we're adding we were already offering a lithium option on the truck but we decided to add uh, as a standard on every truck with the lithium option a victron monitor so the victron monitor will give you a precise reading on what's left in your battery and it will also uh, it will also come I'm looking at my phone because I just want to show you an app that links to that monitor uh, via Bluetooth so you have the opportunity to see on your phone what's remaining in your batteries and also your consumption of electricity so as you're gonna be uh, uh, shutting down a light or something, you're gonna see uh, you're gonna see the difference uh, in amp uh, that you're that you're drawing on the on the battery. So very uh, interesting uh, monitor, very precise. And then one more thing, you can come inside with me. Another thing I forgot to uh, to mention is that uh, we uh, we also have there is something else that we have in terms of technology for 2021. We also have now a, uh, our garnet monitor that monitor the level of the tanks, uh, fresh tank, black tank, uh, gray tank, and propane. Uh, so that garnet monitor is now uh, Bluetooth also. So we also have that app that you can put in your smartphone and then you can see the tank level uh, on your phone. So if you are, for example, filling the tank and uh, you don't have a clear, uh, clear shot uh, on, the, uh, on the monitor inside the truck, you can see what's going on and how, how far you are in uh, filling your, your tank. Another thing that we, uh, that we did put standard in all the 2021 panoramic is an induction charger. I don't know if you're able to see this 
round thing. So for those who have uh, some uh, some latest of the smartphone, uh, you're gonna be able to charge. That will eliminate um, some of the wiring beside the, the window. We still have those dual USB uh, port here on the side of the window. So you, you can still use that, but that reduction becomes normal. We also have, as you know, that electrical uh, plug right there below the table. So it's, it's, it's a little bit hidden, but it's easily accessible if you want to plug a laptop or if you want to connect a charger for your e-bikes below the table. So you can use that, uh, that electrical um, outlet. So you can come inside uh, with me. Another thing that we did this year, we had a lot of requests, people asking to add more uh, hooks uh, to, we added it. it. These are small things, but sometimes, you know, they help uh, solving a, not a problem, but, or just making your life uh, better or providing more comfort. So one other, in the bathroom is that uh, shower uh, rod that drops are you able to see this as I'm moving it down so so you can see that retracts on the ceiling and then you can drop it down and you can use it to hang uh, 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 some uh, some some clothes for example if you go on a hike and, and your uh, Gore-Tex is all wet and uh, you have a lot of things that you would like to dry here over uh, the, the shower bassoon, you're gonna be able to hang these things. And also with the addition of the, of the Truma Combi uh, outlet uh, for, uh, for heat, it's gonna help uh, to dry your stuff. And if it drips water, it's gonna drip in the shower. So it's just, uh, just a small, small thing, but uh, just, uh, just nice. Um, <clears throat> so it, among the other small things that we did, so you notice we still in that unit have that, uh, I am giving you trouble in moving quickly. So uh, the other thing that you notice, we have a compressor fridge uh, here with that combination with the microwave. Sometimes people were asking us about, uh, that they, they saw the, that apple pie video and they wanna bring that Breville uh, oven that we, uh, that we have. I usually have both. I like the microwave, but I also like the Breville. So this year, what we do, this is one of the places where you can store it. This is the closet here, uh, but sometimes we don't need all that space for clothes. So that shelf is an adjustable shelf. It's part of the build in 2021. So you can position it at different level. And right now I placed it so that I would have just enough space to put my, my Breville oven uh, under uh, here. And again, <clears throat> when I use it, I will sometime Sometimes put it on the countertop or even use it outside if I want to cook some piece of meat that I don't want the, the fumes to go uh, inside the RV and I can use the exterior uh, the exterior outlet to do that. Uh, I think I will take you in the room to show you a couple of things. And now last week we did this in uh, French and someone told me that I, I didn't take the time to use the, the step. So those of you who are familiar with our pantry, you know that we have a huge vertical pantry and below that pantry is a small step. So it can also be used as a very small storage, but it's there to help you to get in the bed with a little bit more ease. Now, come a little bit closer with me. One thing that I want to show you is that in the panoramic, in the, uh, uh, in the cabinets of the room, we used to have and we still have that, uh, what we call the library uh, shelf. So it's a small place where we can put uh, books, but sometimes also we use that space to put our smartphone it's connected here. Uh, we do have a dual USB uh, here and we do have a 12 volt here. Sometimes people who have CPAP machine like to connect here and place their CPAP in the cabinet just above their head. But sometimes we connect our phone, we can place them uh, here or we can place our uh, glasses there. Um, so uh, so that's, a, that's a, just a nice spot to have. Now, one thing that we did for 2021 is that we now added the same space on this side 
and we combined it with a 12 volt port uh, right there so you can use it uh, to uh, put a dual USB adapter in there and again if the other person wants to use this shelf and put uh, uh, the smartphone in that uh, area or glasses and connect the smartphone on this side you can also uh, do that so uh, we uh, well <clears throat> so before I step out of the room uh, we do um, there's a, there's a there's a couple of things that I'm I'm thinking about, but uh, but one thing that you might have noticed, yes, above my head there is a different uh, air conditioning uh, that uh, we've installed. So we are in a testing phase for that air conditioning. It's not available right now for us to install. There is this is really like a testing program with the uh, the manufacturer of that uh, air conditioning. So. We're going to be testing this in a, uh, for a couple of a couple more months, and uh, we hope that in 2022 we'll be able to use that air conditioning. Now, this product so far has proven to be a lot more efficient in terms of uh, electrical uh, draw, but also extremely low in noise level, so much better than what we used to have. So hopefully everything will go well with the test and we'll be provided with some, uh, some, um, uh, some more stock. So in 2022, we can add that. Now, the question will be, can we run this unit on batteries? Uh, the answer is yes, we can always, we can already run this one on the batteries. So, uh, so there's a lot that we, that could be say about that product, but I mean, today we just wanted wanted you to uh, to let you know before you ask the question that yes, there is something, and there will be a lot more technologies um, uh, available for 2022 and 2023. And of course, our company is is driven by innovation and adding more technologies uh, to uh, to our products. So, so you will see a lot of things coming uh, for us now let's step out of here a little bit uh, I just uh, oh yeah one thing that we uh, one thing that uh, we uh, we never really had a chance to uh, to bring forward and I often get the question you know why do you guys uh, use a propane stove stove or could you get rid of the propane sto stove or replace it with an induction uh, cooktop and the reason why we keep propane is a very important one for us is that propane, propane allows us to use the true Mokombi. So the true Mokombi is our eater and water eater. It runs both on electric and on uh, propane. So when you're connected somewhere, you can run it in electric mode. But if you are off the grid, you can run everything on propane. Um, the advantages of the true Mokombi are... are some some of you know them very well but the first one is uh, that it's super quiet so uh, it runs and it makes a, a, a noise level comparable to a compressor fridge if not even lower than that so it's a very quiet system and in the panoramic we do have a few uh, vents we do have one in the cargo area we have another one here at the, at the uh, step of the bed, one more in the restroom, one more under the bench, and one more in the entrance. And so that helps distribute the heat evenly. Don't go too far, <laughs> you're gonna <laughs> lose me. <laughs> so, 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 so that helps distribute the heat evenly uh, inside uh, the panoramic. Um, so this is, this is what we like and you know, if there would be a system as efficient, as quiet, as good uh, as the Truma, uh, maybe we, we would uh, think about removing uh, the propane. But uh, right now, this is the main reason why we want to keep propane. It's a question of comfort, of efficiency, of uh, ability to be off the grid uh, with such a great uh, comfort. And, you know, I... Uh, one question that is often asked, and I, I'm, maybe it will come later, but a lot of people are asking uh, if uh, the the, um, the panoramic is a four-season machine. So 
in my mind, there is no real four seas in, it, in a way, at least not for us in uh, here in, up north uh, in Quebec, Canada, because when the temperature drops uh, in sub-zero Fahrenheit temperature, it doesn't take long between before something freezes up. So, um, so, so it's possible to use it. I've been using the panoramic four season in the winter time i love it and i just love to uh, to camp with it i'm going to be able to sleep very well in it because again that truma combi system is so efficient and so powerful that it will take you to to a sub-zero temperature um, but uh, but what i do when i do this is that i don't bring any water with me so I don't, I, I don't want to be concerned with that. It, to me, it, it's too much management uh, in those temperature, and I don't want to risk, you know, that one day I, I, I lost, uh, I, I'm just out of propane, or I just, uh, you know, I just forgot about it, or I have a, 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 an electrical problem uh, on my system, and then, you know, everything freezes up. So instead, I don't bring any water, but I do have a small cassette toilet that I put in the shower and and then I can still use a, a normal uh, toilet. Now that's another question that we get often is why don't you do why don't you use a cassette toilet? And again, I, I've explained that in a, another video is that we like to have an extended autonomy on the uh, on the panoramic. This is why we have such big uh, tanks on the truck, fresh tanks, gray tank, and, and black tank. And a cassette toilet doesn't have much, uh, doesn't provide much autonomy. Uh, so my cassette toilet gives me one or two days maximum, where my tank gives me a, a lot more than that uh, when I'm off the grid. So this is why we use a normal system, but for the winter, I like to bring that small system. And then it's a worry-free uh, environment where I don't, you know, it can happen, anything can happen or the temperature can drop for a week and I don't mind, but I can still sleep very uh, comfortable uh, back there. As you know, in uh, the previous year, we changed a couple of things. We added a, a bigger uh, and a better uh, sink uh, here, stainless steel sink. Uh, we also changed uh, the valve for thermostatic valve in the shower. One more thing that I'll show you today, I don't know if we did that in previous uh, videos, the TV, uh, as you might know on the panoramic, <clears throat> this, is, this is optional. People can decide to remove the TV and the TV antenna, that's possible, some people do that. Otherwise, usually, most of the time, we do put one TV and we also have an optional TV for the room. So this one, what is nice about it is that you can slide it to see it completely so as you're sitting in the front seat driver's seat passenger seat you can have an eye on it but you can also flip it completely so if you are in the room back there and want to lean on the back doors you can still watch the tv uh, from there so very flexible very nice uh, support to give you a little bit more uh, a little more possibility uh, here uh, in terms of tv watching uh maybe we go outside at this point do we have any before we get out of the panoramic do you have any question that i can take or not yep That's a good question. So you probably heard uh, Matthew very nice uh, English accent, uh, <laughs> similar to mine. Uh, you could question from Jane. I'll repeat it in case you didn't understand. So question was that: Can we use a regular toilet with empty freeze in the tank? It's possible to do that. I've I've done it uh, myself. Sometimes I would just flush with an empty freeze or flush with uh, even regular uh, water and I just try not to accumulate too much in the tank. It's possible to do that but I found that again you know that winter management uh, waiting then you need to go to the dump station once in a while as you're accumulating liquid because you don't want to have too much in the black tank so I found that the cassette toilet was a nice option because when I come back I can just pull it from up from there I can put it uh, even if it's frozen I can put it in the garage or in any place wait for it to uh, to become uh, liquid again and then I can uh, dump it 
So, uh, so to me, it's a little bit easier to handle than uh, having to uh, to dump uh, in the middle of the winter. Any more question, uh, Matthew, before we step out? Uh, can you show the, uh, the fridge? Oh, the fridge. Okay. So, so you so you probably notice again. We have a lot of people with uh, eagle eyes, so they uh, they they see all those small details that we that we change. So. Similar to the air conditioning system uh, that we are testing uh, for, for, uh, for a new manufacturer, uh, we, we're also testing that uh, fridge. So uh, th that fridge, I, I don't want to go too far in it because we've been testing it for a year now and now it, be, it came time for real life testing. We like to bring new technologies, but we also want to make sure before we bring them uh, in our product that they make sense because sometimes they do on paper they even do uh, during the, uh, the the factory testing but in real life because of some other elements that are hard to uh, predict in a, in a factory environment uh, then we then they don't perform as what we expect so uh, so th this one uh, has a few things different from what we uh, what we have and one of the things that you might have noticed it, it has a separate beverage drawer so it's similar in size compared to the one we are uh, using but just a separate uh, a separate door and and a few other things uh, in terms of the, uh, the the electronic management of the um, of the fridge so this is something that you might see in the future but you might not see it if we don't get the the result as good as the other compressor fridge that we are already using and, and that has been performing extremely well uh, for us now in terms of uh, uh, power on this truck what, what we have is is fairly simple but fairly efficient on a panoramic we do have two solar panel 165 watt each for a total of 330 watt and that's I would say that's almost uh, standard on the panoramic that th 330 watts of power we also have 220 watt uh, of lithium in fact this truck has a bigger uh, battery bank because we want to be able to run the uh, air conditioning but again because that air conditioning is so much more efficient than what we used to have we don't have a crazy battery bank we just added a couple uh, a couple of amp hour in order to get a little bit more runtime out of it um more question uh, matthew on your side no we're good i have one yeah can you explain the second lock on the pantry it's difficult that, that one is difficult to to uh that one is difficult to explain but basically what it is is that you know on all the all the draw the, the, the cabinets we do have those positive locking system to prevent them from opening and stuff from falling same thing on, on these new design drawer uh, they work a little bit the same way where when you pull uh, you just rise on lock and pull and then when they close they slowly retract and they lock at the end so that they don't come out of there now on the pantry what's happening is that sometimes that is loaded with a lot of food people if they go for a long trip they uh, they uh, they put a lot of heavy weight inside so what we did for uh, for security uh, for instead of having just that lock we added an additional uh, lock so as you're traveling you can put that lock in and make it even more uh, even more secure uh, there so that was a question. Well, One where more. Where is the mirror and the picture? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we, so we had the same question in uh, in French last week. So people are wondering where is the mirror and where is the picture. So uh, we still have that uh, picture frame with different picture that we that we provide, uh, and we also we still have the mirror that that is still normal in this uh, RV. We decided not to put it because we are looking at different alternative, different uh, component. So so for now we decided not to put it. We're gonna do a couple more tests, and then you'll see. That will be something that you will see uh, eventually. Did you get more questions, uh, Matthew, before yes, we do uh, Watson? Yeah, so 
that's something I don't know if we have shown that. So there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of small storage space on the panoramic. We always try to uh, to just maximize everything that we can find to give you more space. One of the nice area that we have is that shoe compartment. So there is two shelf uh, there where you can put a number uh, of pair of shoes. There is also a hidden cabinet under the table. Uh, we have shown that before, but uh, these are two uh, nice space. And of course, that space here is just beside the entrance door because we all end up having like four pairs of shoes in the entrance. And that's a great place to access shoes without having to walk completely at the back. So uh, so this is a, this is a nice, uh, a nice place for, for shoe storage um we're going outside i think we're going to take you outside we want to show you some more things that we uh that we did um oh yeah that's one thing i forgot to mention another thing that we uh, and, and after that we'll step outside so another thing that we did for 2021 we did add the uh, two size of uh, propane tank on the panoramic we had a 22 liter and i'm now i'm not sure about the gallon i think it's we had a 5.9 gallon and a 6.9 gallon so uh, there was a one gallon bigger tank now that bigger tank became became standard uh, in 2021 so now they're all uh, equipped with that uh, with that larger tank except for a few uh, conflict that you might have depending on the option for example if you have the option of a generator then we need that uh, that extra space so we still are using the the smaller tank so now we're gonna go outside you should go before him before me <laughs> it's gonna be easier so and the keys with me so one thing that we want to show you there's a there's a, a bunch of new things that uh, that we want to uh that to show you or that we introduced this year but uh i'm gonna take you outside just to show you two more things that we have done Come with me. So, so one thing that we did, and I'm gonna try to uh, to speak loud so you understand. As you know, in the in the option sheet of the panoramic, uh, we do have that uh, full color match option. So normally on the ProMaster, these trim are black similar to that middle panel trim and the rear bumper is black but we do uh, offer that option to repaint the truck completely repaint not the truck but i mean all the black trims of the promaster uh, can be repainted and it's a popular option with the white and silver truck uh, because they blend a little bit more in the in the color now what we did for this truck is that we gave it what we call the a, a, a euro European uh, color match. So we just painted the front uh, bumper and then we painted part of the back uh, uh, rear well trim, but we left the rear bumper and the side trim in black. So we're, we're, we're able to bring the price of that option down, but we have a very nice uh, touch or look uh, on the truck. And the other thing that you have noticed is that we now have those accessible step for the passenger door and for the driver door. So as you open the door, you, uh, you get uh, those extra steps to help you step in the truck, similar to what we already add on the, on the sliding door. Uh, and of course, when you close the door, they retract so it, you don't forget them uh, as you're going back. So now, Natalie, I'm gonna let you turn the other way. <laughs> you know, you can't close the door. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. So, we're gonna show you one more thing, or two other things. That's on your side. Did you get any uh, question? Uh, no, it's okay. We're good? Yes. So, one more thing that we did. Um, is that it's a small thing again and we're just trying to, to listen to uh, owners and and future uh, customer and, and their request of what they need what they're looking for 
as you know, that front table already has that uh, possibility to be dropped down on the lower set of track, and then we can make a small bed uh, there on the uh, on the bench seat and uh, with the uh, with the front seat. But we wanted to give a little bit more access and a little bit more uh, freedom or a better front bed uh, if one person would uh, need that. So, so we developed that little cushion that fits perfectly in the shape of the floor and, and it fits at the exact same uh, side. So it's almost, well, it's almost six feet long so it gives us a longer bed but also a wider bed uh, so that 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 makes a very uh, nice and interesting uh, thing that uh, that uh, we can do on the panoramic um, now I to think the bed I think I covered my list uh, I think I covered my list. There, there is probably some question that you have at this point uh, that you would like me to uh, to take some time to uh, to answer or some additional things that uh, you would like to see. Of course, uh, the YouTube uh, channel Panoramic RV is a great place to learn more about our product. We try to describe every feature and every benefit there is to the Panoramic, so you can. Uh, you can uh, you can become a member of that channel this way next time we might be able to do a live YouTube instead of a live Facebook because we need more people to be registered in order to uh, to uh, work with uh, YouTube on a regular basis so uh, you can register there uh, do you have a question Matthew <laughs> yes <laughs> can the table bed and foam insert boat be used to sleep too Hey, very good question. So yes, it's possible to do that and to sleep too. So the question, if you didn't understand it, was can we have that uh, foam bed and combine with the table and sleep too? I would say yes, it's possible, but the space between the track and the other bed is fairly tight. So if you have small children, you could probably do that with them. But for an adult, it's a little bit, uh, it's a little bit tight. Uh, it's not necessarily fun for this person on this side to uh, to sleep there. Can you please demonstrate the screen door? Oh, <laughs> okay. So, so we we've, we've seen that in another video. Uh, if you um, if you're not aware, we still offer the uh, we still offer the sliding screen door, but this one is also. This one is also a, uh, a very popular option on the panoramic. There is a, also a screen door on the back uh, space, but, uh, but this one uh, is great. Uh, easy to come out as you just push. It's a magnetic uh, closure, so it's easy to, uh, to, to move in and out. And then, uh, then easy to uh, drop down, easy to, uh, to put back. So that can be a good, uh, a good option. Anything else? No. And so, uh, can, can you show where the emergency air compressor is located? Oh, that's a, uh, no, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> the reason why is that some of you know there is a, we do have a little safe compartment at the back, and this is where we store the, uh, the, uh, the air compressor, and this is where we store the jack that is provided with the, the Flowmaster, but we try to keep that space a little bit uh, secret or not known. That's why we don't really uh, advertise. So as I said earlier, we always try to maximize the uh, space and storage. So there are a few hidden spots in the panoramic and that's where we store that, uh, that compressor, but it's somewhere in the car. Um, I have another question. What is the monitor under the seat? Monitor. Yeah, I think it's the propane uh, and uh, monitor. Ah, okay, okay, yeah, that, uh, so that monitor there, is, well, it's not a monitor, but or it's a CO2 and a propane uh, detector. So, and there is also a smoke detector uh, just above the bed. 
right there uh, beside the pantry. And of course, there is also, in terms of security, there is also a fire extinguisher just here beside uh, the, uh, the passenger uh, seat. More question? Ben, parler des options, mettons, des, des bancs guéris, cuirs, ça Oh, ah, yeah, that's true. So, again, some people might have noticed that usually the seats that we have in the panoramic, uh, we, so we do uh, offer the regular ProMaster uh, black, uh, grayish uh, color front seat, and they are OEM swivel seat. They're not basic seat with a swivel base. These are the OEM swivel seat from Dutch. So we offer the option of having a leather seat uh, replacement, and they are very high quality leather seat with the panoramic logos in them. Normally we have a beige color that is very light and very bright. It makes me, makes it feel uh, a little bit uh, bigger, I would say. But we also tried uh, this year to introduce a different color for the leather, so it's a very light gray. Uh, so that's also something that is uh, that is uh, available. More question? Uh, can uh, you show the garage for uh, oh, the, 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 the storage? The, the cargo area. Uh, we, so we would we would have that. My suggestion is if you want to see the garage area, because we would need to step outside and hear the truck is close to the door. So anyway, just to make that easier, uh, there is a way to see that. If you go on the YouTube channel, Panoramic RV, you're going to see a couple of, um, and I think that one of them is the, uh, one of them shows really well that cargo area. Uh, you're gonna see that uh, how big of a space uh, there is, and you will be, uh, we show a couple of exterior elements in that, uh, in that uh, video. I think that's, that's the best way, and maybe I'll take that to another video where we will show you how much stuff we put in there. I think that some of you have been listening to the Apple Pie video where we were trying to show what kind of uh, off-the-grid autonomy uh, the panoramic has, but uh, I think that uh, that's something, we have a lot of question on the cargo area, we have a lot of question on, on the size uh, of that space and what can we bring. I can tell you that there is no other class B that have such a big cargo area. Uh, in terms of cubic volume and also if you include all the, the cabinets uh, volume it's quite amazing what we have on the panoramic but I think that next time uh, I'll try to give you an example of what we fit in the panoramic uh, in terms of gear and, and whatever you might want to bring. More question Matthew? I, this is a tough one. <laughs> <laughs> Difficult question? You mean to to say in English or tough for me? Uh, ok, uh, I go in, uh, in French. Uh, si on souhaite changer uh, la forme du bord uh, du meuble supérieur des sièges, je pense que Neil se, se cogne à tête ou... Ok, so, so from what I understand... Can you repeat the question, just to be sure? No, but I, I mean, from the question that I understand... Uh, yeah, but it was in French for our... Oh yeah, okay. So English guest. Okay, so, <laughs> yeah. So, so from what I understand from from the question is that is there uh, uh, is there uh, do we want to change the shape of the of the upper front cabinet as we are? I'm I'm gonna step back in as we are uh, going here, and I think that relates. From, from what Matthew said, that previous to, uh, to the possibility of... Uh, but it was in, in Neil previous stuff. video. Yeah. So, one thing for sure is that that thing sits higher than the, uh, than the trim of the ProMaster. So, this is why we gave it that contour shape. We try to follow that line and be a little bit above that. No matter what we put there, I mean, there will always be a hedge, as there will be a hedge here. I can tell you that as you start living in a class B, you will knock yourself off at least once or twice. And, uh, and there's a couple of places like that that are, you know, obvious places. That's why we do have as much possible round edges to reduce uh, the risk. But there is that 
Because it's a tight space, you know, there is a process where we learn our body and brain learns all the different places and we quickly uh, we, we quickly go past that. It's a little bit similar to the bed. Uh, the bed, you know, on the panoramic is quite amazing. In terms of size, it's uh, six feet two inches long. So same size as what we have to the ceiling, but also 57 wide. So larger than a double, but just a little bit uh, shorter for a queen. And again, most of people, when they start uh, sleeping in the bed, it takes a few nights before your brain uh, analyzes the space and before you feel uh, comfortable. Even if you're a short person uh, like me, it always when I when the season starts or when I haven't been in the panoramic for a couple of weeks or a couple of months, it will take me one or two nights to adapt uh, to that space. And sometimes I will still, after many years, I will still bang my head uh, here or there, you know, and then I remember I'm in a class B, so I need to uh, to move a little bit uh, smoother. <laughs> More questions? Yes. Do you know uh, when Ultra Mobility will publish their <laughs> next video? <laughs> so, question about Neil. Well, you know, uh, I, I am grateful for, for, for all the videos that Neil did, uh, and hopefully, we'll see him uh, soon again. We'll be back uh, on the West Coast shortly. But I, I you know, we don't have any, uh, we don't have any any specific uh, agreement uh, and that's the nice thing with Neil is that Neil doesn't have any strings attached uh, and so we so so I, I don't know exactly where when he's gonna when he's gonna come back with some uh, video but uh, maybe the fact that we're gonna be returning soon maybe it will uh, spark again uh, the excitement to, uh, to do something uh, and don't worry if, if uh, if there are topics, you can always write emails to us. If you have ideas for videos for the next one, we're gonna try to keep posting and keep adding uh, some stuff so you can see maybe more of the real life of what we can do, how we can push the limit with the panoramic uh, in, in, in all the season or in all the different environment. So, uh, so let us know what you think, let us know what you would need to know or what you uh, would like to learn about the panoramic and we'll try to focus on these items uh, the next time we do a, a video or a presentation. Question? What is the wait time currently for new orders? Okay, so, well, because, so we're doing a live, but this video will remain. So you might be watching live, but you might be watching many months uh, down the road that same video that was done in the month of March 2021 so uh, I can let you know that we are already in 2023 for taking orders so 2021 and 2022 is all sold out uh, and things tend to go pretty fast the demand is, is high for, for such a nice uh, RV as the panoramic so I would say if you want to have the best class B, you need to be patient. You need to, uh, you know, you, the big dreams takes a little time to realize, I guess. So that's, that's how I can put it. And so, uh, so that's where we are right now. But again, this can change uh, pretty, uh, pretty quickly. More questions? Will there be any opportunity to see a panoramic on the East Coast, US? <laughs> yes. So I guess people from the East Coast and from uh, the Southern state and from the Midwest uh, are all uh, asking the same question. And of course, I think that as time goes, we keep traveling a lot. I, I suppose that the restriction will, uh, will uh, also uh, be lifted at some point and we will have more uh, a better opportunity to get in contact with you and to travel a little bit more so um, so I'm sure you will have a chance to see a panoramic sometimes uh, on the East Coast some, sometimes soon uh, I hope we're gonna be uh, there and we do have a, 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 a good number of customers who will be receiving their vans uh, in the next weeks in the next months so I'm sure that you will have more chances uh, as time as time pass to see them on the road uh, in your different areas more questions 
Uh, will you have another production line to add capacity? <laughs> <laughs> More capacity, so of course. I mean, the, the, uh, we, we've been increasing our production capacity since day one, and this is something that we do. Uh, we, we, I mean, and we will keep increasing as we go at a rapid pace. But our goal is to do a, a maximum, we want to increase our production capacity at maximum speed as fast as possible without ever cutting on the quality of the product. So there is no compromise on quality and therefore that needs a certain time of course to, uh, that there's a learning curve for our workforce. Uh, but uh, I can tell you that we've already uh, come to a point where uh, that line is running smoothly and is uh, doing quite a good numbers of, uh, of truck. I don't want to get into numbers because again our, our, our uh, reason of uh, the, our, our focus is not on numbers but on that quality that, uh, that we're trying to, uh, to achieve here. But yes, we will go m more uh, faster and faster Every, uh, every six months, every month we, we are faster and we're trying to do everything that we can so that you get that amazing product uh, and have less wait time, of course. We have a very, very important question here. Is the wine rack still there? <laughs> yeah, very important question, yeah. of course, the wine rack. So yes, the wine rack is still there. Uh, it, we even did a couple of tweaks to it. That's something that we'll get back because we've been, uh, we've been playing with that rack uh, quite a bit, uh, following requests of, uh, of, uh, of different uh, customers. Some people don't drink wine, so uh, we had to address it. So we, so we did a few things uh, with that. We'll, we'll get back uh, to this. And the other thing I know, I remember, if, if those of you are, we had previous question on uh, Ultra mobility. Uh, so, uh, question was that uh, you know the, the the vent, the air vent or the heat vent is placed uh, right across the aisle uh, and shoots on the wine rack. But you know all these vents, and we can show it here. All these vents from Truma are adjustable, so you can close them if you don't want to have the heat on the wine rack. But you can also turn them and you can push the air in a specific direction. So if you want to push it down to the floor <clears throat> and not have it go uh, on the other side or sideways, you can, uh, you can do that. So, uh, so no reason why uh, you would boil your, uh, your wine uh, in the wine rack, but it's still there, of course it's still there. Mm, I have another question, interesting question. question. Do you include a bottle of wine with that apple pie, <laughs> with a, any truck, with every truck? So we have a lot of questions on the <laughs> apple pie, and I, I think I'm going to have to do something else. I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to, uh, to, uh, I'm going to have to find another recipe uh, for you. I, I, I saw a lot of interest on the apple pie. I think that we, what we should do is because there is so much fun doing the pie, I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't want to take that away from you. So I think what we should do is provide you all the ingredients when you buy a panoramic and then you make it yourself. So you have all the fun that I had uh, doing that. But, uh, but you know, it's, uh, this is one of the things that I like, you know, sometimes we are uh, rushed by life or uh, in my case by, by work and uh, sometimes, you know, this is one of the great way I like to uh, take some time off is doing uh, sports, but also cooking is it's a great way to, uh, to relax. So, uh, so I'm sure I'll be, uh, if you have any ideas of recipe, you can send them to me. Otherwise, I, I guess I'll just go back uh, in Ricardo's uh, book uh, of cuisine and I'll find something. I'll find a, and I guess next time we, we're going to have to find something that necessitate that needs more cooking time or, or a bigger challenge. <laughs> More questions? How much time are we in? Uh, uh, we you have time minute, what, 10 minutes two? left. Okay, and we, can, and we can close earlier also, uh, depending on the question. Uh, There's a, a question about, um, what about the aggressive tires and wheels for off-road? Okay, yeah, so it's a good question. So you see, on that uh, truck that we 
So we changed the uh, the four season tire to uh, to uh, it's also a four season, but it's a it's a more aggressive uh, tire, and we also changed the uh, original aluminum wheel for a uh, a more robust robust look um, of uh, of wheel. So this is all things that are available. If you want to customize the appearance of the panoramic, we try to uh, we. Tr we know that uh, it's a it's often a dream machine, so we know that people like to give it a personal twist. So there are different set of wheels available. Some of them provides a tougher appearance uh, with different tire, but we can also have uh, we do have a few other options with very unique European sets of wheels, uh, and so. Uh, you, you will see more of those options in, in the next few months. We'll take more picture of what we brought for the season. And, uh, and this is all things that are available uh, as we go forward. More question? Is there some mag wheels options? Yeah, well, same, same thing. Yeah, we were with that, that. That's what we were discussing. So there are different, there are different sets of mag that can be available. But standard, the panoramic is always coming with aluminum wheels uh, from the factory. Uh, so this is at least a, a standard thing. Now, a couple of uh, things that we might mention about the, the ProMaster in 2021. There's a couple of added options that we have. There's a new digital rear view mirror. And I, I don't want to go over these specific options right now because this is a 2020 truck. Uh, but we do have... Uh, uh, blind spot and cross pad detection in, in the mirror, so that's added in the 2021 ProMaster digital rear view mirror, a new crosswind assist, a new forward collision warning. That might come a little bit later uh, on some model because it's a late availability option with Dutch. And then in 2022, you're going to see even more safety option appearing uh, from Dutch. Uh, we are expecting adaptive uh, cruise control. We're expecting emergency braking and a bunch of other things that should be uh, added. So, so before we close this, uh, I want to thank you for your time with us today. I hope you enjoyed. These were, again, you know, the, these are small things and uh, we keep working really hard with the research and development team to bring new components, to bring new design. Uh, we work on a ton of project at this time. We we heard that you like what we what we do. You like the attention to detail. You like the quality of the build, the design uh, that we provide. But we don't want to sit on it. We want to keep pushing the limits uh, beyond your wildest dreams. So uh, we're gonna keep working hard. Thank you for your support. Thank you for. Uh, all the comments and everything that you uh, that you provide us because this is only this is our only way of going forward is to lis listening to what you have to say to what you need and trying to put that into a uh, reality so so again a big thank you for uh, for your time and we'll try to uh, we'll try to uh, to come back with you with more videos uh, in the next few months so thank you very much and we'll see you soon